Okay, so here's a deal. These are obviously acorns, and uh, they are sprouting. And so, as such, uh, this baby would rather be in the ground. This happens to be a uh, valley oak. And uh, some of these, that's a striper, that's a, a uh, live oak. And this is uh, probably a cork oak. It doesn't seem to be kicking in. Some of them might be. Anyhow, these were sitting in my trunk and uh, kind of forgotten in a paper bag, dry, and uh, except for these little shoots coming up. And so, uh, these should be put in the ground. Should have been a while ago. Uh, what I have here is a bunch of leaf mass that uh, I uh, like to add sometimes when I plant. So I'll put some of that in there to wrap it up as a, a little uh, a burrito, if you will. This this happens to be a uh, red oak, and uh, uh, there are a couple of other red oaks in there, and uh, that's I think that's a red too. But there are some stripers and some corks and some valleys and some lives and some blacks that have been around. I don't know exactly what I have in here, but anyhow, they're all local and they're going to go uh, back out into the field. These are being germinated and uh, these are ready to go. And uh, this is the inoculant that uh, I use to uh, help the roots grow. It digests the uh, uh, leaf mass and the acorn hulls and then it grows on the roots and releases uh, minerals from the soil. So uh, these are the dog turd mushrooms. I've also added a little charcoal so that if life gets hard they have a place to call home. But I'm not going to breathe that stuff. Try and keep that wet uh, when in use. But otherwise it can sit there for a long time like that. Well, that's it.